yeah so hey guys this is a new type of video that you guys might enjoy this is a uh, trading nothing to something so and to clarify i actually started with 100 credits and traded for a maverick gxt striker but the file got corrupted and i couldn't share it to here so that's why i started with a maverick gxt instead of 100 credits So here, I actually traded the Maverick GST for 150 credits, even though it's a major underpay. It's just so hard to sell this thing. It actually took me a day to sell, unfortunately. I, don't know, I didn't know it was going to be this hard to sell, but I glad they took that offer. And I'm actually trading for a Painted Fennec, so that's what I'm trying to go for. But here, I saw that all these items... I know I could easily sell them for 100 credits. So I definitely took that trade. Black Kana in there. It's a really good item that I knew I could sell for something. So I took this trade. And for this trade, I knew that I could flip these items. So I mean, that's why I took them in the first place. But as you see, he's giving me 250 credits for those items which like i did not want to individually sell them so i'm glad this guy gave me the credits for this so some of you guys may be asking how i find all these trades and what i do is i post a looking for a group post and for this one i said have 300 credits want offers but this guy didn't want to do it and I saw his current it, so I was like, oh, 100 credits, and he said, yeah, sure, so. And even though I may not be getting a good gain right here, every credit matters doing a nothing to something, so. Beginning, it's good to do these type of trades, so you can just get those easy credits. So you can slowly gain to buy bigger items and get more credits, so that's what I do usually. And... For this trade, I saw this guy had a shattered, so I offered for it, and he actually took the low ball. I know I could sell this for a quick profit, so I took that. And immediately after that, I saw this guy wanting a shattered, and he said he would actually pay min for it. It's actually very good right now for any black market to get minimum value on the spreadsheet. So, yeah. And as you can see, we already have 400 credits. It's mainly just the first trade that's always the hardest. But once you got through there, if you know how to trade, you should be building credits up easily. But for this, I saw this guy had a painted black market, so I offered 150 under min, and he actually took it. So, yeah. And for any guys new to trading, the website to use to look up prices is RL Insider. That's the spreadsheet that everyone uses. But I saw this guy giving me an overpay. So, yeah, I took that. And if any of you guys seem lost or confused about anything I'm saying, please ask me questions in the comments section because I always respond. But here, this guy was trying to low beat ball me at first, but I bargained him up. And I actually took this off, this trade. It was actually way under minimum price, but... No one likes tune, especially Gray. I was glad to sell this. For this one, I just sold the Not Great Exotic. I got from the guy that I sold my um, Saffron Singularity to. For just, this is just normal price of a exotic, so I just took it because I need those credits. And, yeah. and I want to say my inspiration for making this video is actually from Zenic. He's a really good YouTuber. I like suggest you view his videos. For this next trade, I wanted to get a painted octane, even if it was Bird Sienna. I don't know why, I just really wanted a painted octane. So I took this offer right here. Two exotics that I knew probably wouldn't sell for much. And so I think this was a good trade. And 
for this one. This is definitely the most useless trade of the video. I really don't know why I did this. I guess I just want to get rid of that 10 credits, like you, that 10 credits. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, I don't know what to say, like 10 credits. I mean, I guess I'll take it. <laughs> And I was kind of surprised that no one wanted my painted octane. Like, no one did. I went hours. I think probably probably an hour. But, like, just looking for offers, but no one wanted to trade it with me. But finally, this guy gave me the steel of a deal for the painted fennec, which is what we wanted in the end. So, yeah, I didn't want to get a burnt sienna fennec because, like, you, like, who wants a burnt sienna fennec? So, I'm glad that we could end the video on this good note but yeah we did up trading everything that we had but i will be making a part two and i already have a few of those clips filmed so i can't wait to share that with you guys but yeah this video was very fun to make hope you guys enjoyed watching hopefully i'll get a little bit more views if you watch my previous video I'm looking a little rough but hope you like this video about me talking i haven't really ever done this before so hope you like this new content, this new trading content. I just want to spice things up a little bit while still keeping it in Rocket League. And yeah, like and subscribe. See you guys in the next one.